Hello people of YouTube, um, still cranking out videos this week, and uh, today uh, we're doing another true bug, I've been doing assassin bugs recently, um, but these are large milkweed bugs, um, I forget the scientific name, but it'll be in the description. Um, these are really cool. In the wild, um, they're, uh, they're a seed-eating bug, so they eat the seeds of a few different plants, notably milkweed. Um, that's why they have their name. And that's why they're brightly colored when they eat milkweed. Um, they are toxic to a degree. Um, I'm pretty sure they just taste bad. Um, I'm not sure if they're, like, super toxic or anything like that. But, in captivity, we feed them raw sunflower seeds. And, uh, they are not toxic, because they're eating the sunflower seeds, which are fine. Otherwise, we would be, you know, because we eat sunflowers, uh, sunflower seeds. Um, but they're really pretty, uh, really cool little guys. I, uh, I enjoy them a lot. Their setup is really simple, so this is just, like, um, a tub with some decent height. Um, it's not a very large tub. I think it's, like, it's under, like, five gallons in size to give you kind of an idea. Um, but the cardboard is for them to climb on and hide under and stuff, um, but they're actually quite active. They're usually out and about doing stuff. There's their food dish, and here's their water setup. Basically, what it is is um, <laughs> it's funny. I was too lazy to go out and get like the pint-sized water bottles to do this, um, which would have been like a I guess a cleaner setup in a way. Um, so I took a regular water bottle and cut it, and then I put a plastic top over it. And sticking out of here are um, long dental. Uh, cotton roll things and so it's like a wick and it wicks up the water and then they suck it out with their sucky bug parts um, I saw online that people were just like putting um, I guess like a like a water dish out and putting cotton balls in it and that seemed kind of messy to me and this has been working quite well I just replaced the cotton balls maybe like once a week or something like that um, and this ball of cotton over here in the corner is for them to lay their eggs in. Um, that's kind of what they do. They, they lay their eggs into a soft medium like that. I wonder what they do in the wild. If anybody knows, let me know. I, uh, maybe I, I, sh I could probably just look it up real quick. But, um, yeah, they lay their eggs inside the cotton of the fibers. Inside the fibers of the cotton, sorry. Um... Uh, these are actually uh, sexable as adults, you can tell. Um, the males are smaller, slightly smaller, and then if you flip them over and look at their abdomen, um, I'll try and get pictures of that or something, and put, or put a link to pictures of it in the description um, so you can see the difference, um, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, these reproduce like crazy. Um, I actually think they make a really good feeder insect just because they breed so quickly. And um, they're not particularly fast, but they're out in the open. They don't hide, so they make really good feeders, especially for really small stuff since the, the nymphs are quite small when they hatch out of the egg. Um, also, their life cycle is really short, so they breed quite prolifically. Um, yeah, I'll lift up the... I don't think there's too, too many under here. This is my adult bin. Um, I also have a baby bin, um, but I figured I'd just show you the adult form just because... Um, what I do is once they a sufficient amount have laid the eggs in their cotton balls, I, I bring them to a, a smaller enclosure, which I can monitor more more closely. Um, you can just breed them in here, but I like to separate out the generations just for the, the purpose of selling them. It makes it easier, I guess, um, rather than having to pick out, um, you know, individual sizes or whatever. I'm going to help this guy get up. Get up. Okay. Um... But yeah, that's just my personal preference. Um, you obviously don't have to do that. But um, you'll see them feeding on the seeds. I'm going to take a macro video of these guys later, just because they're cool. And then there's a ton hiding right behind the water bottle. I'd say there's about, um, I set up this one, oh, here, you can see the size, 20 quarts. Um, I get these from Target. They're, they're pretty nice. Um, and they've got, like, a gasket seal on the lid. I'll show you the lid. 
So there's like a gasket seal. You need that. And then, oh, this is really important. I almost didn't mention it. So they need a good amount of ventilation. And so it's just a cut out piece of, uh, it's micron mesh, 120 grade. Um, you could use cloth, but I think cloth gets kind of, it's gross. And like, I've seen animals chew through it. And this is steel. They're not, they're not going to go through the steel. Um, but this is because their, their babies are so tiny. You just, you just need it. Um, you need a nice seal on the lid and you need, uh, a very fine ventilation. That way the babies can't slip through. But yeah, they're quite, um, they're, they're kind of clumsy, but they do climb fairly well. Um... But that said, they're they're pretty slow. They're nothing like assassin bugs or anything like that. They 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 move at their own pace. But yeah, um, I'll put their exact uh, life cycle amount in the description. I, I can't remember it off the top of my head. It's been a long day. Um, but I'll put it there just for you guys to know. And then. Um, if you want to get some of these, I'll have some available at the next show that I have. Um, I'm not shipping any at the moment because they're really small and, um, uh, yeah, they're really small. Um, but I'll have some at the show. It's easier to just transport them that way. Shipping them can be a, a pain when they're tiny, tiny like that. <laughs> There's a couple. I guess he's trying to mate. <laughs> Sorry. Better look next time, buddy. And then they're doing it down there. Like I said, they're prolific. They're already working on the next generation. These are young adults that I just that just matured, and I separated them out. But yeah, um, probably gonna do. Um, this, I think my next video will be a roach video, probably. Mix it up a bit. But yeah, like I said earlier, um, Expos in Vallejo on July 20th and 21st, and then the San Jose show on August 24th and 25th. Um, I'll have all sorts of critters. It'll be a good time. We're just there to have a good time. But, you know, getting some cool stuff is definitely a bonus of the shows. Uh, yeah, there you go. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to ask in the comments. Um, their setup is incredibly simple. Um, pretty hard to, to mess up, just as long as you have the right materials. And uh, yeah, have a good night, guys.